All right, so this is Kathy Prummer. Kathy was one of our sweepstakes uh, winners and she is still here with us one year later and we're gonna ask her a few questions um, so you can see her journey isn't just a journey of fitness and strength, but much more than that. So Kathy, thanks for joining me today. <laughs> what have you accomplished in this last year since starting with us? Well, all the usual stuff. I've lost weight, lost fat, increased muscle, increased strength, increased balance. Um, just fitness overall. Um, and that was, when I first came here, that's what I thought would be the result of all of this hard work. But um, uh, so, and the my fitness level, just in general, is so much better. Like, because of working out for a full year, I can go hiking all day long, I can go kayaking all day long. Yesterday, after my one hour in the gym, I went for a 17 mile bike ride. And so, like that fitness level is so much better than it has been since I was consistently working out at 18 years old. So 40 awesome. years later, I'm probably in a better place than I was physically. Um, another thing that I've accomplished is I do not miss workouts. Um, and consistency. Then. Consistency is yeah. very, very important. Sounds like it's become second nature for you now. It is. Yeah, it is. that's and huge. Yeah, that's okay. also Spartan. I did my first Spartan in May. That was a really big deal. I never imagined in my life that I could do an obstacle course race. Um, and so therefore, I, I just believe that there's all kinds of more important hard things in front of me that mm -hmm. I will physically be able to do and mm -hmm. mentally and spiritually. Um, what do you think is the most valuable thing that you've gained in the last year of working out? And you know, some of this could be physical, but some of yeah. it also could be emotional. And Right, well, this was a really hard thing to nail down because there's so many things, but basically this is it. I've overcome myself. And so myself and all my excuses. I'm more disciplined, um, just disciplined. I can rise above whatever those excuses are, whatever that thing is. And that is like, I've overcome myself and that is huge. That's really, really huge. Yeah. So many bignesses. Bignesses, yeah, <laughs> so and not just physical. So much not physical. Yes. Okay, and um, so I just mm -hmm. want to recap though. In the last year, you've done a Spartan race. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Yep. You have lost how much weight? Um, well, I had lost 26 and I've put back on maybe 10. Okay, and then you're training for a triathlon. Yep. Yep. And you've had a lot of family stuff going on yep. as well during all this. Yep. So it, when I look back at you, you're like, wow, that's a lot. Like you've done a lot as well as mm -hmm. handle all the things that have been coming at you personally. So yep. I think that's amazing. Um, what is the, uh, what have you learned about yourself in the past year? Um, I didn't underline that. Sorry. <laughs> um, well, this is, this is probably going to sound funny to anybody who really knows me, but I've learned that I'm a strong woman. At a little over a year ago, I began to realize I, I developed a will to get better. And um, the Bible says that it, it is God that works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So I had the will, but I didn't have the do. And when, when I started here, I got the sweepstakes. I had this opportunity handed to me, really. I recognized it as Missy letting God lead her to do this thing for me. And so because of that, um, that that doing, that the strength that was in me, the will was there, but not the not the doing now, the doing is there. Mm -hmm. And um, and I I know that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And I I would never have accomplished any of this with without that that work inside of me of God himself. Do you know what I see, Kathy, in you is there's, the, uh, from a coaching perspective, there's this model of change and there's four or five stages depending on what model you're looking mm -hmm. at. But, um, and basically, uh, real, real quick is that stage one is you're not even aware that you need to make a change. Mm -hmm. Stage two would be, oh, yeah, people around me are making changes, the commercials mm -hmm. are talking about making changes. Maybe I need to make some changes. Stage three is you start to make changes. You start mm -hmm. learning more of the changes. Four is kind of a transition into like, okay, I understand these. I understand some more physiology or how to exercise or how to eat. And stage five is mastery where it just becomes who you are. And I, I feel yeah. like you're like right there. It's so awesome. In one year's time. And yeah. most people come to me thinking, okay, six weeks. You know, we do the mm. six week thing. I'll be done in six weeks. No, you're mm. a perfect example of six weeks is the very beginning of an amazing journey to try to get each person, you, mm -hmm. each person, from stage one or two, usually they come to us at stage two, maybe three, to stage five yeah. so that they can just carry on and do it because they love it, not because they have to. Right. You know, right. so it's really right. been cool to watch you 
like hit these stages and you've like arrived you're at the top of the ladder <laughs> and I was just thank you now keeping it going isn't as big of a deal as it was no, a year ago so. no it's not and yeah. can I say just one more thing sure I was not a group exercise person at all ever never wanted to do that thought oh those girls in leotards back in the day. <laughs> so like not. no way but I'll, I will tell you that one of the most motivating things that I have ever experienced is coming to this gym and having the love of the trainers, and I'm gonna call it love, because it is, you guys truly care about us. And all the ladies, every single time, it's a different group of ladies, every single time, some are the same. Like that is so motivating, cool. that for those people out there who are saying, oh, I just don't wanna go to a gym because, you know, it's a bunch of, like it, it doesn't even feel like group exercise because we're doing our own thing while we're in the room as a whole group. and. So that has, that has made a ton of difference in the fitness part of what I'm doing. Um, so I, I want to thank cool. you for that because it's, the, it's consistent for the cool. year. It's that was consistent. my next question to you was what would you tell women that are not here yet that really yeah. need to be here? And I think that's one of the biggest things people say is they feel yeah. so much more comfortable. It's so different yeah. than it's a regular gym here. setting. Yeah. It feels totally yeah. safe and awesome. cool. it's it. totally motivating. And I would say to women, if you want... If you want, like I have big things. I'm, I've got my my family. I've got my job. I've got my church. I've got my gym, and my gym is right up there <laughs> cool. in the top That's three things so awesome. in my life. It's serious. Like it, like I can't do without that. That's trainer goals right there. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kathy. Thank All you right, so much. Thank you, Missy.